Here with us now is Zoe Spence, junior tennis player for the Fighting Irish, who has been the on-court leader this season, playing the number one singles position in the lineup. Zoe, welcome to the show. Thank you for having me. You were good your freshman and sophomore years, but you really stepped up this year. Two top ten victories, four overranked opponents. Yes. What changed for you? Uh, just all the wor hard work our team has been putting in. We've had a uh, new coach, Allison Severo, this uh, season, and she's definitely uh, encouraged our team to work hard, um, just work as hard as we can possibly can, and it's been awesome. You've had a decent season as a team. You're ranked 45th. You've yes. got some big wins, and everybody makes a big deal out of basketball selection <laughs> Sunday. Well, for you guys, this is Selection Monday. The yes. selections come out tonight. What are your thoughts? You think you guys are going to get into the NCAAs? Yeah, our team is really excited. We won't know for sure until we see our name on the screen, but we have high hopes and are definitely, regardless of what happens, we're going to keep working hard and making sure that we put ourselves in a good position. In addition to being a very talented tennis player, yes. you are carrying the flag as the first female African-American to receive a tennis scholarship for the women's team at yes. Notre Dame. And I know that is something that you embrace. How does that change, if at all, the way you carry yourself? What kind of responsibility does that bring with it? Yeah, so I see it as a responsibility, but I also see it as an opportunity. I feel like I can really set the stage for future African-American aspiring college student athletes who may be interested in the university but are unsure about being the first and showing them that anything is possible and that this is actually an opportunity to showcase your talents and prove to the world how hard working you are. And you have started a website, also an Instagram yes. site called Fresh Suspense. What is Fresh Suspense all about? So being the first African-American uh, female student athlete on the women's tennis team has definitely uh, made me want to do something big so that I could leave the university having a positive impact on the African-American community. So I decided to create Fresh Suspense as a way to showcase the everyday life experiences of African-American student athletes and make sure that their voices are heard on campuses. You came to a lot of football games growing up. Your dad, yes. Marv Spence, played cornerback here, has a championship ring, which yes. he actually earned as opposed to the announcer who was given <laughs> one. Your mom was on varsity uh, field hockey. Well, it was still a varsity sport. Was there ever any doubt you were coming to Notre Dame? Not at all. I, ever since I was younger, my parents and I have always gone to the games. Um, and not just that, but there's a Notre Dame atmosphere and a strong Notre Dame tradition, and it's just something that you can't really ignore. <laughs> You're a political science major. Major. How do you balance the academic load and the athletic load? Because again, tennis is a sport that's year round. Mm -hmm. And I think that's one of the reasons why I love Notre Dame so much is that they have so many resources to make sure that you're not only performing well um, on the tennis court, but you're also doing the best that you can um, in your studies as well. So it's that good balance between academics and athletics. Now, you grew up in Chicago, so you're used to cold weather. I know there are <laughs> sports on campus that never want me to mention that, you know, that snows here. It snowed yeah. here this weekend. But I loved your answer when we were talking before the interview about what's your favorite place collegiately that you have played tennis, and you said right here at Notre Dame? Yes, there's nothing like the home court advantage, to be honest. It's just amazing having uh, so many Notre Dame fans come and support our matches and even being able to have my parents come from Chicago um, and support me as well. And you have a lot of courts to play on. I know they are working on upgrading the facility because yes. uh, it's older now, but it was uh, at the time when it was first opened, one of the best indoor facilities in mm. co collegiate tennis. And now you have the outdoor facility as well. You don't have any trouble getting court time. Yes, we can play anytime we want, as early as we want to. <laughs> so what do you think are the biggest challenges that you are facing to taking yet another step next year to improve on the great year that you have had this year? Uh, one of the things that our coach talked to our team about is the importance of making sure in the summer you take advantage of that uh, free time and making sure that you're playing as much as you can, playing as many tournaments, and also uh, just making sure that you have the right mindset and you're ready for uh, when season starts. Now, because you're from Chicago, I know your mom and dad have the chance to come down and see you play. Yes. As former varsity athletes here themselves, what did it mean to them the first time they saw you wearing the blue and gold and competing for their alma mater? Yeah, it was amazing. I think it's just been awesome kind of uh, sharing experiences that are similar to my parents, but also creating my own path as well. Um, and just seeing how our experiences uh, differ, but they can also um, be similar. And you've been playing tennis since you were six. In yes. fact, you took a little different route. You were so good, you didn't play high school tennis because you were already <laughs> beyond that from a competitive standpoint, mm -hmm. uh, playing the ITA circuit and whatnot. 
At what point did you know? You were obviously indoctrinated, I'm sure. How old were you when you learned the fight song? Uh, probably like nine. <laughs> I've learned it really early. I've been going to football games all my life. So when did you know you were coming here for sure? Uh, honestly, I've known ever since I was a kid. Um, my parents made sure that I was always wearing fighting Irish colors every single day, always made sure I was at games and always just talked about like the wonderful Notre uh, tradition that Notre Dame has. Well, I certainly remember your dad. I was calling the games then. <laughs> Please tell him I say hello. Yes. Congratulations on having a great year and uh, best of luck to you as you head into your senior year. Thank you year. so much. And good luck tonight. Thank you. We'll be pulling Fingers for the crossed. team to get into the NCAA. All right. Thank you.